Now we'll fix the body of the post. For now everything is tagged without paragraph entirely. If we take a look at PHP MyAdmin, for example, let's see the post with ID1. Note here that the body is just a plain text. Its paragraph is only separated by a new line. And HTML will ignore this. Maybe the easiest way is by replacing this body into HTML syntax. But here I won't do that. Instead, I want to tell you about Markdown. Markdown is a simple markup language in plain text that can be converted into HTML format or any other formats. It's widely used for the readme file that you may be often found in GitHub or Bitbucket. For example, in Markdown, we can make heading 2 using double hash, heading 3 using triple hash mark, and so on, or formbold by wrapping in two asterisk. Let's go to Laravel repository in GitHub. This is the Markdown readme file, but it has been converted into HTML. You can see here, there are a couple of paragraphs, heading, etc. Let's click the readme md file. md is the file extension for the markdown. If we click the row button, we can see the original markdown syntax. As I mentioned earlier, markdown can be converted to other format. In this case, we'll convert it into HTML. But of course we need a tool to translate it into HTML. To find it, just go to browser and enter Laravel Markdown. Let's click this link. And here we can read how to install it, configure, and how to use it. Ok, we just copy the installation command. Or we can add it in package.json file and run the compulsor update command. I prefer the first one. Open the terminal, then paste it here. Wait until download finished. Ok, the installation is finished. Now let's see how to use it. It says that we have to put the Markdown service provider in config app PSB. Let's copy. Back to editor. Open the app PSB file in config directory. Then let's find the provider array key. Here we can paste it in string format or like this. Let's see the next step. Copy this alias in the aliases array key in the same file. I'll paste. And I'll change it to make them compact. I think the next configuration is optional. So I'll skip that. And go to how to use it. Ok, this is the example. Go back to our editor. Open show blade PSP file. And here we call markdown convert to HTML method and paste the post body to it. Let's test. Now the body of the post has been converted to HTML successfully, but this is not what we expected. This is because we use double curly braces which will escape it into HTML entities before displayed. Just as we call a PHP function HTML entities. So we have to change it like this. Which means non-escape, just render directly. Let's test again. Now it displayed as we expected. Let's see in PHP admin. I have added some headings. Now I save. 
then let's see how it look like here the heading 2 heading 3 in bold text it will be converted into strong tag To make it more secure, before we convert it to HTML, we could escape it using a Laravel eHelper function. It looks not changed here, but it's more secure. Let's go back to our editor, and as usual, I'll make the view as simple as possible. So I cut this line, and I change it, for example, to post body HTML. Next, let's open post model. Then we create a new accessor. Get body HTML attribute. And paste it here. Because it's now in model, change it to this keyword. Let's see. And here I got error. ARP markdown not fun. Let's take a look at the documentation one more time. Apart from view, we have to import this namespace. Let's see again. Okay, now it's work. Perfect. And let's do a little more step. Here we'll make sure the pulse body is not empty before converting it into HTML. And I think we also need to do the same way to the post excerpt. Just duplicate the method and change it to get excerpt HTML attribute. Then we change this to excerpt. Last, let's jump to index blade PSP file, get rid of this paragraph, and change to excerpt html let's try we need to change this as well 